Hello, my name is Don and welcome to episode 14 of Motorsport Manager here on my channel with ZRT Autosport. Before we sort of get into this episode, I've got a few things to cover, so I'm just going to sort of go through all of that with you right now, uh, while I'm sort of just doing the sort of series maintenance, if you like. Um, basically, I've got so much stuff that I'm able to do uh, in a day, so I'm trying to upload two series a day basically, the football manager at five and this at three. Now, that's fine and well, but with the two episodes it takes so long to make the, to make the episode, obviously just to record, then takes about two hours to edit and re render um, and I can't, when it's rendering I can't do anything else on the computer so I can't record the next episode, I can't do basically anything, I can't go into YouTube check comments or anything like that and then it takes about two and a half hours to upload and process and again I can't do anything on the computer while that's getting done mostly because it just sort of doesn't really run that well um, seen on an episode at the end of last season, I think, where it lags when I was uploading because I was uploading at a time of uh, uploading. I was at the time I was recording, sorry. Uh, I'm just trying to get through it and I'm sort of brain freezing a little bit. Um, so, yeah, I've decided to stick with the one episode because I can, it means that I can make more quality content for you guys. I've just abstained this vote just because. I don't really know what driver aids are, and I'd rather save a vote for something that is relevant. Um, but yeah, so we're going to stick to one episode, uh, one race per episode from now on for this series, just so I can make more quality episodes of this in Football Manager for the channel. Um, other than that, that's sort of just what I was wanting to address, to be honest. Um, what are we going to work on performance-wise? We're going to work on... Let's work on next season and this season's suspension. Just get the last little bit out of this season's performance and a little bit out of, well, max out next season's, I think. Already done the brakes. We could actually build a new set of brakes because, oh no, that's engine I'm looking at. Uh, never mind. I could maybe have built a second, a new second engine, but I'm not going to. Uh, so yeah, this episode we have a race in Guildford. Um, but I wanted to sort of get that addressed as soon as possible just so we know where this series is going forward it's because I'm, I've got a family obviously and I just want to be able to get as much content out there as possible that's of a quality that's watchable and when I'm losing four hours of my record and edit time instead of two which it would be for Football Manager or one race um, it makes it difficult, so because basically that means that I can't record another football manager episode for that day, or I can't record another motorsport manager for that day, or the next day, or whatever. So just because I've got a family, I'm going to go do one episode, pe well, one race per episode, sorry. And maybe in future I'll do th at the end of season races, I'll maybe do a double upload on those days. I've not done it for last season going into this season but maybe this season going into next season we'll maybe have one slightly earlier a new card introduction and then the episode with the first race I don't know just to try and make up for that as sort of like a bonus but I feel this is the best way to progress the series and make sure it stays at a level that I'm happy with and hopefully you're happy watching and um, the views so far on the episodes I've released so far have been phenomenal for a channel of my size and um, so I'm very happy with that and how this has gone and thank you very much for that um, other than that I'm going to just sort of skip ahead to the next race unless there's anything else that needs addressed between now and then there will be no upgrades of course so yeah basically I'll just see you on race day so following on from that we do have a dilemma I'd say Sergio Valdez likes his phone apparently so I think we just go for the minus 15 morale one rather than the plus 25 or the 
minus 25. I'll just check what's the morale like with Sergio right now. It's very high. I think he's actually got something that affects his mechanic relationship. So, with, yeah, he's got selfish and spoiled, which prevents him from getting a 100% relationship with his mechanic anyway. Um, so I think we just have to go for the morale because the mechanic relationship can become very handy. Or could do we just go for the... We'll go for the minus 25 and take the 100,000, I think, actually. So that's that dealt with. Okay, so we have just finished practice. Second and 14th with Valdez and Mulan there. Again, obviously pushing. Uh, Saha just looks too good. But we definitely look more competitive this weekend. Again, I used a notepad that I had from my personal save to use the setup. I know where it is now, and I sort of watched and they were quite happy with it, so I just left them out and then I brought them in and seen three greats, and I was like, oh. I didn't really know where to go with it, because with greats, it's difficult. So it's 23 lap race, and we can get nine out of the tyres. Poppy. Poppy, poppy, poppy. So, I guess we go short. Um. 23 laps, so 7 would be 14 and then 21, so 8, 16, 23. Guess that works. Um, the, thing, the reason why I changed those tyres there is just a preference thing. Um, in fact, I'm just going to keep the tyres on push just to keep a bit of life in them. We're only going, and it, we're going a lap less, not two or three laps less. In fact, Maya might not even be able to do that distance. So we start 13th and 5th. I'm going to watch as much as we can. I'm going to start with both cars. Uh, and already starting to make moves. In fact, Maya's already up into second and hunting down that predator of Evans. Um, let's see if we can go to that. She's purple in sectors one and two right now, of course. Points for fastest lap, but that won't be done on the first lap. And now she's into the lead. Hopefully, Evans holds up other cars. He sort of does there. And we'll bring her down to high, high, and same with Valdez, who's up to eighth doing okay. He's now getting held, held up by that predator of Evans as well, but he should make light work of it in the straight, and he does. Is Maya extending that lead, sort of just out maintaining 1.5 second gap. Uh, although we're getting gained on now, and then pulling away, so I bet the lap it looks like Elsa that's going to gain on Maya and then pull away. we're going to pull away a little bit again so we're sort of just maintaining that gap. Valdez up into fifth, another fantastic drive from him. Going to bring Maya's tyres down to neutral, in fact we're going to do the same for Sergio. Now that they're about the right temperature, hopefully for once um, neutral keeps them in the right window and they don't keep rising and we'll try and keep an eye on that. It's it's very difficult trying to keep an eye on action, the fuel and the tyre temperatures while you're trying to talk about the race and not miss anything. Um, I've noticed other channels have that issue as well. There's a couple more experienced guys than me that sort of manage uh, who maybe do more F1 sort of series or, or maybe just more experienced at sort of strategy title games in general. but. I noticed there was a comment on Loki Doki's channel saying that other people, the other viewers were noticing that on people's channels and not liking it. Oh, Valdez, lovely move, son. Up into third. And Maya's getting charged down here, to be honest. Thinking about... Oh, so we've got to get another two laps out of her, though. Mm. Tell you what, Maya, just you hold him up for uh, Sergio. That'll do me. The worry now is <laughs> that I'm going to pit Maya a lap earlier here. And uh, I'm kind of thinking the softs. 
they can do 15 laps, so what would that be? So 12, 22. Poppy. Poppy, poppy, poppy. So I guess we go with like a short ish stint on the soft swift Maya. Again, go for about 7 laps here and then go for softs at the end. Right, because we, we cannot stack them. That is, it's that simple. If we stack them, then we've got an issue. And whoa, 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 whoa. I'm pitting the wrong driver. I'm pitting the wrong driver. Um, yeah, and we changed the tire, didn't we? Yes, we did. Balance, 10 seconds, okay. Please tell me you're coming in this lap. Yes, you are. Good girl. So, Maya's in the pits now. And again, we will push with her just to get those tires up to temperature. Valdez in a very good window right now. And not only that, he's fighting for the lead and he takes the lead. Hopefully he can just drive off into the distance now with the slightly better car. And he is also coming in at the end of this lap because this is the end of lap 8. So, we'll go for 9.96, that's fine. And it actually kept the tires in a very good window for Valdez as well there. Just as he gets to clean air as well, he has to come in sadly, but that is what it is. My tires are at a good temperature, so she is going to come through and pass. No, she, Sergio's leapfrogged in the pit stops, so that's good news. Unfortunately, he looks like no, he's just behind Sabado on who hasn't pitted yet. So he gets past Sabado and makes light work of him. Hopefully, Maya can do the same. Again, I'm going to bring him just down to neutral on the tires because they're in a good temperature window. And I feel like I'm starting to monitor these tires a bit better. So with the car in front pitting, Valdez is up to 4th, Maya up to 6th. So both are cars in our target position. Maya still struggling to get past Sabado though. Who's on the softer compound tyre and could run longer into this race. Of course Jean Sador also doing that. Really should have checked how many laps this race was and maybe just gone with the soft. But I do like this much more aggressive strategy with the... The softer tyre and as you can see it's sort of working because we're still third and fourth and running faster in fact we've now got our pit stop back on third so although Sahaz has charging up behind us as well he looks like he's got to be running a similar strategy to us um, my tires are fine in fact Valdez is almost perfect and He's catching up to Ingledew quite quickly here. Hopefully he can just make light work of Ingledew in her car. I think she's in the team that got relegated last season. She blocks off well there though. Come on, stop holding us up. Come on, she's going in for the pits here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put him into overtake mode when she goes into the pits just for a lap or two. Um, she's got four laps of fuel and we only need three. Maya is in six. Hopefully she can get another couple of laps out. She's up to fourth. So she's still got to pit, so she's not got the same pit stop gap that Valdez does. So has the one that's behind Valdez, but he has to stop as well. So this is for position between us and Saha. And both having clean air. Looks like we're getting maybe brought in just a little bit or blown away just a little bit, maybe just maintaining the gap. Yeah, yeah I think we've actually got enough just to push right to the end of this race. Well, this the end of this stint, to be honest. Um, tire windows are good. Maya has to come in this lap. And I don't think she can make. These tyres go lo long enough so she can get eight laps. Yeah, she can. Maya can go to the end here, so. There you go, Maya. She had a better second stint there. Obviously, the tyre wear being better. And Valdez, we can pit you and we'll take you to the end as well, buddy. He's pitting a lap later than. Maya, so how is he having to put the same amount of fuel in? That doesn't seem right to me. Uh, what's your gap? You've actually increased the gap to Saha, so that's good. 
Although that might just be because we got through the traffic easier than him. He will have to pit again. There's no doubt in my mind that he has to pit again. So he will take the lead. Hopefully we get some clean air. Uh, if we come out in second, we will. So that's really good news. Uh, tire temperatures are in a good place right now and they seem to sort of maintain before. So I'm just going to leave them as they are. Elsa, that's behind us as well and I believe he will have to pit as well. So this is now just a matter of Con Valdez pull in Saha. Well, Saha is on worse tyres, really. Uh, but we're keeping the tyres in a very, very nice temperature window. There's no way Saha can get those tyres to the end. They're pretty much gone. Um, where is he on track? Yeah, he's coming in at the end of this lap, so that's fine. And Maya struggling behind soft runners again. Uh, unfortunately, but it looks like a couple of them will have to stop again. Uh, it looks like she's stuck behind Sabado, of all people, again. Um, but she's now got past him just about. He's stopping, so he's just held us up and then stopped. It's frustrating when that happens, but we are going for a race win right now with Valdez. But he's getting brought back in at a rate of knots by Saha behind, so I'm going to actually tell him to push a little bit more. We've got, what, four laps to do, so we can maybe even go into overtake mode with the engine, just to try and protect this a little bit. Let's see if we can pull back. No, we're still not even pulling away here. This man is on a charge. He is willing to burn out his tyres, so I'm curious to see if we might have to do the same. On, right, tell you what, on you go. Tyre temperatures are good, we can just monitor that. consumption here so we've got two laps to go right we can just stay on this mode for the rest of the race I don't care if the tires burn out just stay in front car conditioning is fine Maya you can probably do the same in fact no, I'm just going to put you on push for your tires because I don't think you can you've got the tire wear for it uh, he's racking us back reeling us back in now on his fresher set of super soft but we've got one lap to go can we hold on for this win Come on, hold on, buddy. Come on. I think we've got enough. Don't slow us down. Blue flags, come on. Slow him down. No blue flags. Right, come on. And Valdez comes through for our first win as a team. He calls himself a driving genius. I don't think so. I've seen your crash in the last episode, mate. But you've done well this episode. Well done, buddy. Maya will come home in 10th, unfortunately. She's not had enough to pull out. Her tyres have gone off a little bit at the end. So I was right not to go in attack mode. But P10 should be happy with that. So two tick cars in the top 10 and our first race win. That's the first race I have won on this game because I've been managing Chariot on my personal save and I haven't quite got to that level yet. And we're sort of at this stage in the first attempt I made at making this series when the, the video settings were incorrect. So it is my first win in this race, uh, in this race, in this, on this game. Absolutely delighted with it. Almost perfect drive from Valdez. No safety cars messing us up. Doesn't surprise me to see Karim Saha getting more points because of fastest lap. But we will take this first place trophy the first time we have got one. Sergio Valdez on up to fifth with 95 points. Maya goes up to 15th with 56. So that shows the difference in car and driver quality, but it puts us back up to 6, but gives us comfortable breathing space in 6 as well I get over Octane. And we're actually only a couple of points away from Silva. We're about 15 points off my target, which was Vex, which is 4th place, which is Vexla. That is not our target for the chairman. Um, our target for the chairman is only 9th, I think. I cannot remember, it'll be back in episode 8, if I remember correctly, uh, it might be episode 7, uh, one's the new car episode, one's the first race of the season episode, I can't remember which one we selected, what our target was, I think it might have actually been episode 7 actually, 
nonetheless guys this will wrap up episode 14 we have got our first win the debt is coming down sensational position to be in right now thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed I like us a like and subscribe is always appreciated if you do and I'll hopefully catch you all next time.